perfect match, you know, first team, uh, seeded number one, managed to get to the gold medal final, seeded number two, also managed, and now we're definitely going to see who's the best in Antalya 2017. Please so here welcome we go, the athletes for to the, the field of play, men's for the recurve men's gold individual medal gold match. and silver medal match, the battle last between match two of, of the, the finest day. recurve two archers, titans of Planet the sport Earth has and to taking offer. The Both field of play away from the Rio 2016 Olympic on, Games the white cap, with medals. the white shirt of France. Joining us now on the field Two of play. Bows. Oh, one of them fell. One Ladies them and fell. gentlemen. <laughs> But on target coach number two. Care of that one. So there Representing he goes, standing France. to take the applause Jean of the crowd. Jean-Charles of Valadon of France. <laughs> he crosses his arms and his opponent to await his opponent. Joining us now on the field of play. Well. Although, as we a said, they've been not shot Miguel each other. Miguel Alvarino Garcia, 6-2 like in the quarterfinal. Very, very long time. Before so disposing of lots Thomas Chirol, 6-4 in the match. semis. Walking nonchalantly Joining us now the field of play. On the field of play. Already been here Ladies and gentlemen. The team event. On target number one. White and blue of the United States of America. The United States of America. It is the five. Brady Ellison. Brady Ellison. Very characteristic way to wave to the crowd. The line judge for this match cool is customers. Maria Larkina. And there's Maria Larkina taking charge of the final match of today's Two competition. Two of the world's greatest archers going head to head for a World Cup gold medal right Go here in Antalya, Turkey. Turkey. Who's, who's your gentlemen, for this match? Brady Ellison oh, will shoot first question. on target one. Uh, I take when we commence. What about you? Okay, I'll go Ellison then. All right. But there's just something irresistible about Ellison for me this this week. He just, you know, he arrived late, didn't have a lot of prep. Maybe just took the pressure off himself right away from that moment. But he's going to have to work for it for sure. And he's shooting first in this match. Nine opens up with a nine. The concentration etched on his face. Valadon, a little bit harder to read his expression with those glasses on. Nine. A nine as well, both a bit north of the 10 for each archer, so maybe some slight readjustments for them both. 10! There we go. Edison remedying that 10. His first of the match, taking him to 19 points. Not a happy face after the shot, but he got it. You have to work a little bit harder for that one, do you think? Nine! Maybe he was surprised by the ten. Maybe he, he felt it, it would have been a nine or an eight, and it was just a good surprise to see the ten. So, Ellison with 28. So, Valadon knows a ten will take the first set. Ten. And it is a ten! So... Oh, First blood to Jean Charles and Valadon. First two set points to zero for him. Remember the first archer to six set points. Takes the match and in this case takes the gold medal too. So Ellison having a chat with his coach there. Exchange not much that you would want to alter at this stage. It will be a bad to Ellison. Just focus on your best. Yeah, it's good. Valadon seized an opportunity that you just have to seize with such an archer as Brady. If you have the opportunity to clinch a set, you know, just don't hesitate. Do your best shot, and that's what Valadon did. Maybe we're not going to see Brady shooting so many nines. The French archer leading two sets to one. He's so strong, and I think now he's got the sight. Something so curious about Brady's equipment here is that he's using four veins on his arrows and that's so unusual uh, I'd say it's the first time I see it in my life because we all shoot with three veins and uh, well I I'm curious to see how it's going to pay off so Ellison shoots first again on target number one nine and nine for him he occupied that target in the mixed team round as well so he'll know what it feels like exactly to stand in that spot yes yes Ten. Ten. Looking, looking so solid. <laughs> 
19 points now for Brady Ellison of the USA. Nice. Nice Balladon didn't look too happy with that shot either. Knows that only a point here or there will be the difference. Nine. Nine for Ellison, so 28 for him. So identical first and second sets. Ten. And a 10 for Balladon, so he's 4-0 up now. And Bernardo, you, uh, you were calling it for, for Balladon, and he's not letting you down. He's got a uh, commanding lead now at 4 0. Yeah, and so far, the second game, it's a little bit more balanced. It might be just my impression. But still, he's shooting like the 229s. That's a great start. Et eh bien, c'est bien, Brady la première qui t'engage, putain, elle part, elle peut pas aller ailleurs. Uh, c'est ça. But to win a gold in a World Cup, you really gotta show more than just C'est bien ça, ça va le dos uh, But what you have seen, je vois bien que... On ne pourrait pas avoir remarqué des paniers de basket. Il était dans la situation de semi-finale. Il a fait le premier tour. Donc il sait comment il se sent. Il s'est dit ça. Il s'est dit ça sur le record cette semaine, en fait. If you read the article on the World Archery website, 4-0 doesn't bother him at all. 5-1, he says he starts to get a little bit bothers, yeah. squeaky, but 4-0, not a problem. So he really does have to pull something out of the bag, though, in this third set. Yeah, and knowing Brady, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he shot a 30 now. He certainly has that level of class, doesn't he? Eight. Oh. Starting with an eight, a little shrug of the shoulders. I think the wind picked up now. Maybe right, don't forget. It's 70 meters away, that target. Not eight. easy to hit, and an eight from Valadon as well, so. A little bit of relief for Ellison, perhaps, that the Frenchman didn't make him pay for that eight. Ten. And there it goes, and a ten. shot in the 10 for Ellison in this match. 4-10 so far for Valadon. Can he add another? Nine. A nine for him. So he trails by a point. He shakes his head. And a nine, possibly nine. a 10. I'll just doubt. Uh, a little star next to the nine on the scoreboard there on your screens it means that the arrow very close to the line and could be upgraded. Nine. And Valadon hits a nine, so he gets 26. So it won't matter too much whether Ellison's arrow is upgraded or not because he does take that set as he did in the semi finals. He was 4 0 down. Now he's brought up to the He's on Valadon's shoulder. Tu dois le sentir, cette This is as exciting as we hoped it would be. Indeed, indeed. And Valadon's arrow is just out, as we can see. I think Valadon got more tense now. Now, especially because he shot that eight, uh, he, it was really a missed opportunity he had, uh, but the wind doesn't make it easy. Uh, I, I think Valadon lost his balance, I mean his body balance uh, in this set. Maybe he's forcing his shots, you know, just trying to make the shot happen, and we could see his body moving as, as he was releasing the arrow, and that's not good, like he, he opened his group. Um, he would just have to, you know, find his balance again, keep calm, and go strong for the fourth set. So Valadon, a silver medal in his pocket from the mixed team already. Can he add gold? Or can Brady Ellison snatch it away? Trailing 4-2. Nine. And he starts with a nine. Brady upset with that shot. I think he didn't really understand what happened. Nine. Nine as well. With the Frenchman, slight Dutch adjustment again to his 
Spoon. Turn! And Gareth in the London 2012 tattoo, clearly visible on his forearm there, showing how proud he was to take away the team silver from London that year. Maladon, successful as an individual archer in Rio last year. So both successful Olympians and both level here. Eight. Eight for Ellison and Ou from the crowd, which means a nine will do it for Jean-Charles Valadon. He shrugged just saying, like, I don't get what happened. He's got five nines in the competition so far. Another one will do it, and it is a ten for Jean-Charles Valadon. Applause from the crowd, because it's the end of an epic match between two titans of the archery world. And it's Jean-Charles Valadon, France, who's claimed it, capping off a great competition for the French team. He won silver in the mixed team events earlier on, and now he takes gold here at stage two of the 2017 Hyundai Archery World Cup. A brilliant performance from Jean-Charles Valadon of France. Brady Allison yeah. takes silver as the two Ladies archers embrace right arm eyes, shooting yeah, line for the photographers. A great archers. match, a That's great a match for them. Great match, yeah. The Valadon just Brady shot Allison super. And and uh, he, he shot three 29s. Uh, that's so strong. He, uh, he only uh, failed a little bit in that 26 where he lost you know, his balance. He lost his confidence a little bit, but he wasn't shaken by that. Just came back, shot a 29, and Brady was struggling a little bit with wind, maybe with his technique. Uh, but Valadon did not hesitate. He seized the opportunity, and now he's going home with a well-deserved gold medal. Ladies and gentlemen, at this moment in time, we would like to invite you to please stick around. Do stay with us because we will be commencing our victory ceremonies momentarily. So do stick around and show your support for the archers. Thank you very much. Slow motion takes.